Good evening, everybody. I'm in St. Augustine, Florida. Behind me, Ripley's Believe It or Not. A few years ago, we did the Ripley's Ghost Tour, which was kind of like a tram that took you to multiple spots. But the last spot that you went to was a little investigation inside of the castle here. The castle is very known to be haunted. We had a crazy experience when we were here years back. You guys can check out that video up here. But we're here tonight. They're not doing the tram tour anymore, but they are doing an extended investigation at night uh, within the castle. So it's limited to 20 people. It's socially distanced. You wear a mask and you get to investigate uh, and hear stories about the castle and what's gone on here in the past. So let's go check it out. check in and get a little bit of history of the castle here. So I've got my pass and I brought my own ghost equipment and they said there's a lot of activity in there tonight so we'll see if we see anything. I'm gonna tell you this right here right now when you leave the building my biggest tip for you Tell them to stay here. As you leave the building, even if it's in your mind, you don't have to say it out loud. You can say it out loud, say, you are not welcome to come with me, okay? We are going to explore, like I said, one of the most haunted buildings on the entire Eastern Seaboard. What I do know is this. Consistently throughout human history, for thousands of years, the same things are reported over and over and over again but it's not something tangible that you can hold in your hand. It's not something I can say, look, here's gravity. I drop a thing and it falls to the ground. We don't know what it is. We don't know what's out there. What I will say is this, before we begin tonight, just take a moment and suspend your disbelief. It's the building that we're in. Uh, weird stuff happens. Uh, weird stuff happens when you guys aren't even here. Weird stuff happens when we're here on our own. Weird stuff happens in the middle of the day. Weird stuff happens in the middle of the night. They lined up around the fort and they all charged at the same time, thinking if they all ran at us at the same time, we couldn't kill them all. We did. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the Spanish were not the biggest fans of the English, so it's not like we buried them all nice in the cemetery. We kind of just dug a body. Where, wherever there was a body, we would dig a hole, kick it in, and cover it over. So there's at least five British soldiers buried under the land that we're standing on right now. That's why we're not allowed to build anything on the property. Uh, that wasn't always the case in St. Augustine. Uh, St. Augustine has this dirty little habit of moving headstones and not bodies. It wasn't actually until very recently that there was a law put in place that said you have to move the bodies too. <laughs> Welcome to my city. Mm -hmm. They're not the only ones here. Like I said, uh, Robert Ripley had a habit of picking up dead bodies and bringing them home mm -hmm. and put them in most of our museums. So welcome. And uh, like I said, be respectful, guys. I, we have stuff move across tables. We have weird feelings of tense pressure, uh, chest pain, inability to breathe, dizziness, just general feelings of dread. We have energy spikes. We have spikes in the electromagnetic field around us. We have heat and cold spikes, mostly cold. It'll actually cold spots is what they talk about. But sometimes it'll get really hot in an area too. Energy, that's the key factor. That's what ties it all together. Now, we're physical existence, but they may be a type of existence we just don't understand yet. This room where we were here last time, we had some crazy experience with orbs all around. I'm not capturing it today, but right in this area over here is where the bathtub was. You see the floor is different. And this is where one of the tenants, or people that stayed here, burned alive. Nothing on the K2 here, now. 
Heading into the next room. <laughs> Heading into the next room. Here's the mummy kit. I watched it. It's her name. It's not hard to do today. I'm not picking up anything in here. I don't think we're catching anything in here so far. When we did that weird stuff started to happen. First, we placed the dress in its bulletproof case. And the case shattered. It was three inch thick bulletproof glass. Nobody was anywhere near it. They had placed it, walked away, and they heard a loud crash. We had to get a new case in really quickly. Nothing on the meter in here. The man was never seen again in the 40s. You could disappear. You could disappear really easily. Heard a scream. Smell the smoke. Here, and then we're going to head downstairs to our last investigation location. Okay. I have to get something like right over here. Right in this area. This is the room where supposedly one of the murders took place. Where a murder took place. Come on, baby, do it again. Get more of a Rita here again. But I don't think I'm getting anything in pictures here, but this is certainly doing its thing. Fiji mermaid? Papa Yes. Yeah. Ah, we have his voodoo doll. Papa Doc Chevalier. He was a Haitian dictator who killed people because this particular voodoo doll told him to. We have it. As the legend goes, don't look him in the eyes. But honestly, 
Luckily, he's been quiet recently. So let's take a look, and then come on out, and we'll exit the building. Uh, right around that corner, right on that door. Uh, check out Papado's voodoo doll. They tried to move this last year, and bad things happened. Oh my god. All right, I wrapped up the investigation there. Really kind of weird. The tour guide left the tour after the spirit box because she felt very nauseous. And I gotta be honest, while I was taking pictures around at the end, I felt very nauseous myself. I don't know if it's necessarily spirit related, but weird thing to have as a coincidence there. So I am getting out of here. This total time for the uh, event or haunt investigation here um, ran about almost 90 minutes or so. Um, fun. The tour normally would take like a trolley and go to these other places and you'd take pictures and you know look for orbs and stuff like that. And uh, they're not doing that part now. I thought that part was probably a little bit more hokey um, to begin with because we had a really good experience here the last time. I'm just not sure that we caught anything this time, so I'll have to go home and look at pictures and then uh, have you know a lot of people watch the video and yell at me if it's just uh, dust instead of orbs or things like that. But I'll, uh, I'll pick out the best shots that we possibly got. And that's gonna do it for me today out at Ripley's, believe it or not, in St. Augustine. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.